Hello friends, welcome to my 30 range YouTube channel. In past, I create Redmi Note 11 mobile top 10 tips and tricks video. After the video, lot of friends request me, please create another top 10 tips and tricks on Redmi Note 11 mobile. So in this video, I am going to talking about Redmi Note 11 mobile top 10 new tips and tricks. If you are new visitor on my YouTube channel, please press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification after publishing my future videos. Let's learn tip number 1. Let's learn how to use macro lens camera. Now I open my Redmi Note 11 camera. After click on this icon on top right corner, click on macro option. Now macro lens camera is enabled. Now you want to move the object to camera like this, like 2 or 3 centimeters after we can capture the image using macro lens camera. We can capture a detailed photo like this. Let's learn how to play YouTube video when screen is locked. In this Redmi mobile, we can play YouTube videos in background by lock cover screen. Let's learn how to do this. Go to mobile settings. Scroll down this page and go to special features option. Click on video toolbox. You can enable this video toolbox option. After click on this manage video apps option. In here you can select YouTube or any application as you like. Now I select YouTube application because I can play a video in background after I can lock my mobile screen. Now I open YouTube application and I play some video. Now you can see this small shortcut icon on left right corner. Shut it like this after you can view this all options. Now you can click on this option after the video is playing in background. The YouTube video is not stopped, it's playing continuously. In this method you can play a YouTube video in background. When you listen songs in YouTube, I think this is very good feature to you. Let's learn how to change screen refresh rate. Now this mobile refresh rate is 60Hz. We can change it into 90Hz. If you change it into 90Hz, we can see more detailed things. Let's learn how to change this. Go to your mobile settings. Scroll down this and go to display option. Click on this refresh rate option. Now you can see a preview sample in here. You can enable this 90Hz high refresh rate. Let's learn how to use application as floating window. Now I open some applications. After if you want to use this application as floating window, you can tap and hold and drag it to top area like this. After this application going to floating area. Now if I want to use another application, I can open it like this. I can resize this application like this. I can maximize application like this. If I want to move this application anywhere, I can move it like this. If I want to close this application, I can shut it like this. Other method is, we can open our recent applications after you can see in the top area floating windows option. Click on it. In here, you can see the floating window supported applications. You can select any application in here. In this method, you can use application as floating window method. Let's learn how to enable app drawer. Normally, we can open our old applications like this, but we can enable app drawer. Let's learn how to do this. Go to mobile settings, scroll down and go to home screen option. In here, again click on home screen option. You can enable this with app drawer option. After you can open all applications like this. If you like this app drawer method, you can enable it. Let's learn how to arrange apps in recent area. Normally we can see the recent applications like this. 
we can change this application style let's learn how to do this go to mobile settings scroll down this and go to home screen option click on arrange item in recents option now this mobile is already enabled vertically method now i change it into horizontally method let's see how it works now now you can see it is horizontal method again i change it into vertically method this is vertically method you can enable any style as you like let's learn how to add app lock on your mobile applications in this redmi note 11 mobile we don't want to download third party applications for app lock let's learn how to enable this go to mobile settings scroll down this page go to apps option now you can see here app lock click on it now in some applications i already enable app lock if you are not yet enable this feature you want to type a pattern after you can enable this app lock now i will explain how to add app lock to applications in here you can select applications you want to add app lock now i already add whatsapp for this app lock now i select youtube application you can enable it like this okay now let's check it now i open youtube application now the app lock is applied now if i want to open this youtube application i want to type this pattern or I want to tap my fingerprint. In this app lock, you should want to learn one tip. I will explain it. Again go to app lock feature. After click on this settings icon on top right corner. Click on this lock settings option. After you want to enable this second option when device is locked or after existing app option. You should want to enable this option. This is important tip for you. If you want to hide your app lock application pattern, you can disable this show pattern option. I think this is very good feature to protect your privacy. Let's learn how to clear speaker dust. In this Redmi Note 11 mobile has a stereo speaker system. When we are using our mobile daily, the mobile speaker is going to dirty automatically. We can clear it using clear speaker feature. Let's learn how to do this. Go to mobile settings, scroll down this page and go to additional settings option. Click on clear speaker option. You can enable this. Now you can hear some loud sound. It playing on 30 seconds. After if your speaker blocked by dust, it will clear. Let's learn how to extend RAM on this Redmi Note 11 mobile. Now this mobile default RAM is 6GB. You can extend 2GB virtual RAM. Let's learn how to extend this. Go to mobile settings. Scroll down this page and go to additional settings option. Click on memory extension option. After you can enable this memory extension option. After enable this option, you want to reboot your mobile. If you extend your mobile memory like this, you can use your mobile very fastly. In this video last tip, let's learn how to enable light mode. In this advanced mode, we can use more applications. If you enable this light mode, you can use your mobile easily. Let's learn how to enable this. Go to mobile settings, scroll down this page and go to special features option. Click on light mode. You can see a preview in here, bigger icons, large text, plus visuals. You can enable this by click on turn on light mode option. Now this is light mode. If you like to use your mobile using light mode, you can enable this feature. In this video, I had talked about Redmi Note 11 new top 10 tips and tricks. If you are using Redmi mobile or Redmi Note 11 mobile, I think this video is very helpful to you. If you like this video, press the like button, add your comments and don't forget to share with your friends. You can watch more tips and tricks on Redmi Note 11 mobile in my channel. If you want to know any feature on Redmi Note 11 mobile, you can comment it. So let's meet on our next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.